Ready for inspection, sir. for inspection. This isn't an inspection. It's more like a guy to tour through Pittsburgh during a garbage strike. <laughs> Skolnick. Me, sir? No, the locker. I always call the locker Skolnick. <laughs> yes, you. What is this? My belt, sir. In the Navy, when you roll your belt, you don't have a hole in the middle. This is a belt, not a bagel. You understand? <laughs> Sir. It is a belt, not a bagel. It is a belt, not a bagel. It is a belt, not a bagel. Who told you to say that? I was remembering it, sir. See, in memory school, they teach you to repeat a thing three times and you'll never forget it. Well, remember this. Dummy, dummy, dummy. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on you. Kowalski! Kowalski. Does the Board of Health know about you? Board of Health, sir? Your locker. It's murder in there. Your sneakers are starting to walk away. There's a new thing out. It's called soap. Give it a shot, huh? He goes downwind, your murder. Ooh. <laughs> Mignoni. What are these? Trousers, sir. <laughs> when you fold trousers, you fold the crotch so it won't flop. I don't want to see any man with a flop crotch. <laughs> Daniels, are you at ease or attention? Both, sir. Both? Yes, sir, both. Like us dudes used to stand that way on the street. You see, you might look at ease, but your mind's at attention. That's why my fatigue's at ease, but my mind is fine. <laughs> what did he say? What kind of language are you talking? Oh, that's the way the dudes be rapping on the avenue. Well, you're not on the avenue, and you ain't rapping. And I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Now, listen. Everything you learn here in boot camp is very important. Remember, what you learn today may save a life tomorrow. Now, we'll go to blanket folding. Hey, Shark, can I see you a minute? Yeah, sure. Uh, Pruitt, take over. What's up? I'm supposed to take your company over to the coping class they're setting up. I'm gonna be the facilitator. Coping class? What are they gonna start next? Well, it's not a bad idea. You let the kids talk about their problems and their feelings and how to cope with them. Who cares about their coping? I say shape up or ship out. You have no feelings, no feelings at all. No feelings? Don't I buy Easter seals? <laughs> and every Sunday I watch the world at Disney. <laughs> so what? How does that make you a man with feelings? I'll tell you how it makes me a man of feelings. Not too long ago, I saw a show. The Boy Who Talked to Badges. The Boy Who Talked to... It was about this kid that went into the woods. That went into the woods. And uh, this badger saved his life. So the kid made the badger his pet. Beautiful, huh? The boy and his badger. <laughs> See how you don't need violence? That proves you have feelings? Yeah, but wait a minute. Something horrible happens. What? A hunter shot the badger. <laughs> shot him. And this kid, he picks up the badger and pleads with him, don't die. <laughs> Robert 
Listen, I started crying. I'm not kidding. Crying. I cried right through to the end of the show and partly into Columbo. So underneath it all, you're a very sensitive person. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Here I am, a Navy career man. And I'm in the military and I hate violence. But I'm a sensitive guy. And if you tell anybody, Robinson, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You'll cry over a badger getting shot, but you have no feelings towards your fellow man in the Navy. Me? If a hunter shot you, I'd feel terrible. Thanks. But I'm talking about the recruits. Oh, man, I can't talk to you. Listen, I'm going to get on to my class, okay? Yeah, sure. Go facilitate. Well, he's the big facilitator. He's going to facilitate. Attention on deck. Sit down, sit down. Okay. We're going to talk openly about uh, your troubles, your problems during your first few weeks in the Navy and how to cope with them, okay? Okay, so if I say to you, what do you feel like, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Discharge. <laughs> okay, why do you feel that way? Because the work's too hard. Nobody ever told me it was going to be so hard. And that makes you feel what? Disappointed. What else? Disillusioned. And how do you cope with that? Discharge. <laughs> that's not coping, that's copping. Okay? Anyone else? Yes. I feel nervous. <laughs> nervous? Why? I think maybe it's because I had too early toilet training. <laughs> Why would that make you nervous in the Navy? It's just like toilet training. Someone's always standing over you waiting for you to do something. You can relax now. You got through toilet training, you can get through this too, okay? All right. <laughs> Anybody else got any feelings? Sir. Sure. I feel, um, como se dice? I feel caliente, hot, hot, you know? <laughs> Isn't there enough air in here? No, sir. There's not enough women in here. Yeah. Well, the best way to cope with that is to keep busy. I keep busy, but I keep thinking. Sit down. Okay, anybody else got a feeling? I have a feeling, but I don't think you want to hear about it. What is it? Discrimination. Well, you feel someone is discriminating against you? Who? Chief Sharkey, and there's only one way to cope with it. I want to transfer to another company. Whoa, 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 now. That's kind of strong. How do you feel he's discriminating against you? Well, he's always making cracks about me because my name's Shimakawa. So what? He makes cracks about me, too. Well, you're not Japanese. Well, you're not Polish. <laughs> hey, I'm Puerto Rican. Do I win a prize? <laughs> wow, look who's back. Freddie the facilitator. How did the coping class go? Everything copacetic? <laughs> Many complaints? No, that was the usual. But there was one that was a little bit different. This one might come as a surprise to you. Oh, yeah? Can I guess? <laughs> Is it bigger than a bread basket? You can joke about this all you want to, but I think it's serious. All right, what is it? A kid named Shimakawa claims you discriminate against him. Oh, that's ridiculous. I got nothing against Japs. <laughs> he says you make cracks about him because he's Japanese. I make cracks about everybody. And if he don't like it, tell him to stop being Japanese. <laughs> well, the only way he feels he can cope with it is by transferring to another company. Oh, really? Maybe I ought to get him a geisha girl to run up and down his back for a half hour. That's <laughs> for transfer. Here's your transfer. I'll give him a transfer. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Pro? If reporting a problem, uh, one of the men didn't come back after the shower. I think he's gone on an unauthorized absence. Who is it? Shimakawa. Shimakawa? How do you know it? 
Well, one of the men saw him going toward the fence, and when they go for the fence, it's goodbye, Navy, hello, San Diego. Well, get the shore patrol and get him back. Aye, aye, sir. Huh? It's your fault. You and your coping classes. Why is it my fault? You don't even know where Shimakawa is. He's probably visiting his uncle, who's holding out in a cave on Guam. <laughs> I wonder where he is right now. Hey, I know where Rodriguez would be right now. Now, right now, I'd be in Tijuana with a margarita in one hand and a mamacita on the other. Pretty stupid thing going over the hill just because the chief hassled him a little bit. Yeah, the chief hassles all of us. Sure, he does it all the time. Think this. On your feet, Scone. Don't you know how to roll a belt? It's a belt, not a bagel. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. <laughs> yeah, or this. Rodriguez, don't you know how to stow chowder juice? You dumb coochie frito. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. <laughs> hey, my turn. Kowalski. Oh. Me, sir? No, the locker. I'm talking to the locker. Yes, you, you dumb payaso. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. And I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Hey, come on, everybody. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Come on, let's hear it, guys. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Very good, boys. Very good. You are doing me? Well, may I teach you some imitations? A hawk circling his nest. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> Just great. You're loaded with talent. And you win a prize. You go on the Lawrence Welk show and you get to suck bubbles. <laughs> now move it, get out of here. Hey, sir. Hey, Sharky! What's the matter with you, man? You upset about something? No, I always relax like this. I walked into the barracks and those guys were doing an imitation of me. Well, what's wrong with that? You know what they say? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah? The sincerest form of flattery? <laughs> zippity doo da, zippity doo da! I just did you. Are you flattered? <laughs> No, it was a bad imitation. See, what's bugging you is that kid who took off. I've had kids take off because of me, too. So what? With you, it's different. You might get a kid that's surprised you're not working in the kitchen. <laughs> that kid would really be behind at times. Black's been out of the kitchen since the end of World War II. Yeah, and I haven't had decent ribs since. Chief <laughs> Sharky? Yeah, what is it, Pruitt? Oh, excuse me, sir, but we just got news about Shimakawa. Shimakawa? Did they find him? Someone spotted him trying to get over that barbed wire fence, and his pants got caught. And that's how they found him, hanging by the seat of his pants. <laughs> Good, is he still there? No, sir, just his pants. <laughs> Ain't that a funny picture? <laughs> Shoot. Throw it. Yes, sir. Take a cab. Yes, sir. Take a cab. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to be present today, Mr. Shimakawa. Your son has been brought to a disciplinary hearing. I will listen to both sides of the story and then decide on what punishment would be in order. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. Disciplinary hearing. Excuse me, ma'am. I was uh, stationed in the Orient, and I think I'm able to speak a little Japanese. May I help? By all means. <laughs> Mr. Shimakawa? Ha! <laughs> uh, Kishide Yuki Masu. So this guy. Very good. Very good. What did he say? He said, I'm going to the train station, and I said goodbye. I, 
I guess I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Chief Sharkey, why do you think recruit Shimakawa went on unauthorized absence? Well, ma'am, he wanted to leave the company, so he just took off. Why did he want to transfer? Well, he thought I picked on him. It's not true. I pick on everybody because it brings out the best in the men. He's just a little more sensitive than most. Did you understand that, Mr. Shimakawa? Oh, yes. He talked good English, too. <laughs> uh, Mr. Shimakawa, your son... <gasps> your son, Kona Ni Matsu. What is it, Mr. Shimakawa? He wants me to take his baggage. <laughs> Recruit Shimakawa, what do you have to say for yourself? I tell him he wrong, you right. Oh, Benjo wa. That means thank you. Doesn't that mean thank you, Mr. Shimakawa? No, no, that means where is the washroom? <laughs> Shimakawa, unauthorized absence is a very serious offense and you're going to have to be punished. Therefore, Excuse me, I... ma'am. May I say something? Of course, Chief. What is it? Well, Shimakawa's a good kid and he's got a clean record. If it'll make him a good sailor by transferring to another company, fine. He deserves a break, ma'am. That's very fair of you and most unusual, Chief. But you don't have to give up a man just because he desires it. Well, maybe we didn't get to know each other as well as we should have. And with another company commander, he can get a fresh start. What do you think, Shimakawa? I think... I would like to stay with Chief Sharkey... if he'll have me back. <laughs> Well then, Chief, I'm going to suspend Recruit Shimakawa's punishment and make him your responsibility. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Shimakawa, did you understand? I'm returning your son to Chief Sharkey's company. I understand. Now that he go back, maybe Mr. Sharkey can tell me what he say to my son. My son say he make remarks about the Japanese. What are these remarks? Oh, I don't really remember. <laughs> You, you can tell me. Come on, come on. No, no, I don't. <laughs> you tell me what he say. Nani wo ittaka ne? Itte kure. You know ni wa, boku no futan wa ni wa, so shite nani mo hanashi ga dekeru. You say that? You funny man. <laughs> <laughs> You really didn't mind, Mr. Shimakawa. <laughs> no, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shimakawa? <laughs> Could you tell me how to say dumbbell in Japanese? Dumbbell? Oh, that is. Okayaro! Thank you. Okayaro! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Shark. Good morning, Robinson. I have some fresh coffee. Can I bring you a cup? It's my pleasure. What happened to you? Nothing. I just decided to take your advice. A new approach. Firm but gentle. Gentle but firm. The new Sharky. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Make it a lot easier to cope with. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Chief Sharky? Prove it! Come in, lad. What's on your mind? Well, sir, I hate to have to tell you this, but the men were a little late getting back from Chow, and they're going to be 15 minutes late to their first class. You dummy! What's the matter with you? Didn't I tell you I'm supposed to take charge of the men and worry about the time? You big moose! You don't know what's going on! I can't put you in charge of anything! I don't understand you! You see your head? The last time I saw a head like that was on a wall over a bar in Teaneck, New Jersey! You big
I guess we're back to the old Sharky, huh? Shut up, Robinson. You're starting to steam me. <laughs> Coming next, here at Comedy Central... 